थैंक यू इट्स अ वेरी फंडामेंटल क्वेश्चन टू अवर एग्जिस्टेंस वी ऑल वॉन्ट टू चेंज स्पेशली अवर बिहेवियर सो दैट अवर लवड वंस ऑल्सो कंकर विथ अस रेजोनेट विथ अस एंड वी ऑल्सो एक्सपेक्ट अवर लवड वंस टू चेंज दर बिहेवियर सो दैट वी लव दैम इवन मोर इट्स मोर कंडीशनल before we can understand this idea of behavior i have to understand why do i behave in certain way how did this conditioning of certain behavior happen can i break away from this behavior we are studying all these things in a very limited way for example alcohol addiction drug addiction sex addiction certain habits which have become ingrained become has become hardcore as they say the nerves are tightly enervated into our entire system i would like to focus on this with a one correlations that have been established the way we develop our vrittis meaning tendencies tendency of the mind this tendency of the mind creates activities we call pravrittis and based on this activities we develop our own prakriti meaning our own nature that becomes our hardcore genomic nature and that determines our destiny our future we are the creator of our destiny by developing certain tendencies now the question arises how do we end up creating these tendencies it is the environment the way it, environment is not everything though but it does contribute towards our conditioning take for example you had love affair you loved the other person so much after some time it so happens you meet that person after this heartbreak how would you behave with the other person would you bring in that episode and start fighting or would you say i'm sorry the two approaches how would you regulate your mind at that time would you be nice or you will be as to say a jerk at that moment if your mind is volatile and not understanding things properly then the whole episode will backfire the reminder will backfire our memories play a bigger very big role any activity will be stored in our mind we call it cognitive memory it remains there existential memory further classification will be episodic memory some episodes and also deep down it will remain as an emotional memory it is this emotional memory that creates our behavior pattern how to remain protective against certain episodes if you are bitten by a dog in your childhood you will always remain away from you know this lovely puppies but to a person who has been bitten once by a dog will remain so far away how to change this behavior in heartfulness way of practice especially when we do this evening cleaning 
we make a will, we make a sankalp that may all the complexities and impurities that I have gathered during daytime leave my system. It has magical impact on our system. And once we do this for 10-15 minutes in the evening, once we reach back home before mixing with our family members, with a new brain, new mindset. Generally what happens is when we come home from work, we bring a lot of emotional baggage with us. All kinds of uh, emotional baggage. And before we mingle with family members, it will be nice if we can sit quietly in one corner of the house and do this cleaning at a deeper level in our system. Then you'll become so fresh and your mind will not have any baggage left from what you were exposed knowingly or unknowingly. Let me give an example. If you go to a gym, you did your workout for one hour, half hour or two hours, you are sure going to sweat. Would you tell your beloved, come my darling, the darling will say, please stay away from me for some time, go take a shower. Cleaning is required. This inner hygiene, when it is spoiled by our conscious as well as unconscious activities, our inner hygiene gets spoiled to a certain extent. We need to purify that, bring it to a certain level. That is one approach. Second approach is how to prevent anything from being conditioning from being conditioned into our system right from day one. You see, what we are doing as a cleaning is a post effect. You get dirty, you clean. Your shirt is dirty, you wash. There is another approach also that I don't allow my shirt, I don't allow my psyche, my emotional being to get soiled by the external. That means I have to immunize my mental activity, my emotions. How do I do that? That is through the meditation. You remain so balanced from inside that nothing shakes you. But to answer this question, how to bring about behavioral change? Do you, you know, to bring about behavioral change, it's not so easy. But it becomes a child's play for a person who has a goal in mind. If you are a God-oriented person, religious person, you have some level of leeway. Yes, I would like to realize the ultimate. I would. Scientific mind will say I would like to evolve my consciousness to a large extent possible. For a basketball player, they also a goal, I want to become an NBA player in the United States. Here, you want to become a good cricket player. So, your behavioral changes will occur once you have established a goal in life. What do you want from this life? And accordingly, you can adjust your lifestyle to match the goal that you are aspiring to achieve. People who become alcoholic, drug addict, and they are so hardwired to certain habits, they are not flexible, that means. Flexibility is lost. So certain habits, though you want to change, but your hard core brain will not let you change. It will require some interest, some joy in life. Okay, I want to change. There has to be some level of enthusiasm to change your pattern. 
goal and how do I fuel that aspiration to achieve that goal if you are sad and so I could not drink and drink and smoke. So some level of enthusiasm has to be there. For anything to remain stable, you need energy input. For myself to have a stable behavior of a good human being, efforts are required. And why would I make efforts until, unless I'm interested in growth? So these are all connected goal or aspirations, lifestyle changes. So some level of enthusiasm has to be there. Family members, instead of criticizing, give positive feedback. Yes, you can do it. You are brave, you are strong. So I think it takes so many people friends, family members, to help us change certain habits. As far as the good habits are concerned, parents from the very early age has to sow those seeds of creating personalities in children. And that begins with the moment go, the moment of conception. But as the cells divide rapidly, turning into billions of gel cells, right from few cells in the beginning, they are constantly exposed. The way parents behave, the way their magnetic field changes, when they are angry, the arguments, they affect the inner structure. It mutates accordingly. But again, the fundamental question remains how to. And to me, only answer from comes is this cleaning that we adopt in heartfulness way, the evening cleaning, that changes our behavior right from the grassroots, right from the subconscious level. So I hope I have answered you. What, what it requires is a practice.